Hello there. Well, we've got an absolutely beautiful day for another adventure. The sun's out, it's early spring, it's just wonderful. We're in the Inverclyde, in Port Glasgow in fact, and we're going to walk from here to Greenock, along the coast on part of what is called the Heritage Inverclyde Coastal Trail. A bit of a mouthful that I'm inclined to think the words aren't quite in the right order, but anyway, that's what it's called. Uh, it's, it's not what you would call a, a recognised big walk, it's not on ordnance survey maps. But if you go onto the internet, you'll find a PDF leaflet describing it and telling you about a lot of the things to see on the walk. That's Newark Castle over there. It's closed at the moment, early spring. It will be open uh, later on in the summertime or perhaps uh, next month or whenever. Check the internet for that. And in Port Glasgow we'll see a number of things, one of which is the Comet, a very old boat that was built here in Port Glasgow. And as I think you can see, they still build boats here. And after having a look at Port Glasgow, we'll carry on the coast towards Greenock. We'll have a quick look there and then we'll, we'll climb a small hill that will give us wonderful views towards Gourock and the whole of the Clyde coast. And I hope it will pretty much give you a really good flavour of what this part of Scotland's all about. The walk's around eight miles long, following roads, sometimes busy roads, and quieter promenades by the water's edge. Signage along the way is varied, reading either Coastal Trail, Clyde Coastal Path, or Heritage Inverclyde Coastal Trail. We pass Newark Castle, built long, long ago for the Maxwell family, and skirt what was once the Gourock Ropework Company's premises, a huge red brick building, thankfully still standing, and today in use as housing. But probably one of the first things to notice about Port Glasgow, apart from the fact that a lot of it seems to crawl up the sides of a steep, misty moor, is the rather attractive steeple of the old town hall, which dominates the town skyline. It's hard to imagine that such a grand building could ever be under threat of demolition, but these days we do seem to make a habit of abandoning old buildings and allowing time and the elements to knock them down for us. Built in the early 1800s, Port Glasgow Town Hall did lie unused for a number of years, but has now thankfully been saved. No matter where you are in Port Glasgow, it's hard to get away from the sea whether in the town's burial grounds or here, looking down John Wood Street towards ships in Ferguson's yard. Well, this is the steamship Comet, launched in Port Glasgow in 1812. It sits here 
amidst what I could all describe as a melee of shopping structures, modern, squat and quite ghastly looking buildings, and it looks a wee bit out of place, but nevertheless this is it here. This model of P.S. Comet is a replica. The original sank near Oban in 1820. A Comet too was built, but she too sank, this time following a collision in 1825 when 62 passengers lost their lives. Nevertheless, the Comet was the first, the first commercially successful steamboat in Europe. As you can maybe see, we are approaching Greenock. We had to come along a very busy, noisy and really quite unpleasant road there. And it's just a bit of a pity that you can't somehow make it onto this path via the, the docks back there. Don't go into the docks thinking you can get through because you can't and you have to come back out again. Not that there's anything necessarily wrong with that, because docks are quite interesting places to have a look around, just as long as you're careful and you're allowed to be there. I suppose at the end of the day the authorities probably don't want members of the public wandering through the dock area in a willy-nilly fashion in a right of way. Because there is activity in docks and perhaps the two don't mix. Anyway, we've left all the cars behind and we're on the promenade. Just about to hit another few docks. There's docks all along this uh, part of uh, Inverclyde, all the way from Port Glasgow to, to Greenock and beyond but mainly between Port Glasgow and Greenock. And up here we've got some guy blowing... I don't know what he's blowing, because this is spring. And if it was autumn he'd be blowing leaves, so what he's doing with that handheld Spitfire, I simply do not know. Other than making a whole load of noise. Hello there. One of them's cutting the hedge. Oh, the other one must be blowing curtains. That's what he's doing. He's a cutting blower. Probably an apprentice cutting blower. Well, this is the customs house. And a tall iron thing in a nice cobbled area. I mean, this should be a quite an attractive kind of heritage spot. But unfortunately, it's been turned into a car park. With cars and whatever these plastic things are. And to be honest, it takes quite a bit away from what could be a really nice area. I know cars have got to park somewhere, but I've suggested this is not the place for them to do so. But at least it is nice to see there are some old buildings still left, which is a great relief given what we had to come through when we came out of Port Glasgow. 
But we'll go into the middle of Greenock and we'll see what, uh, what's going on in there. There's a lot of really nice architecture in Greenock. Towers and steeples and spires. It's almost like a Scottish version of Oxford, the number of steeples there are in the place. But while there exists a lot of nice architecture, there also exists a modern shopping centre right in the middle of the town. At some point in the past, somebody has decided what Greenock needs is a shopping centre. So they plonked it right slap bang in the middle of everything else. And it's almost cleaved the town in two. You'll find when you're here that it's almost difficult to get from this side of the town to the other side without passing through the shopping centre. Of course, maybe that's the idea. In fact, it undoubtedly is the idea that you're forced to go through the shop centre and buy something. But I just think it detracts from what is a seriously attractive place. I think Greenock could do well without its shopping centre. Perhaps hark back to a lot of little shops. It's hard to imagine how a structure as ugly as the Oak Mall Shopping Centre could ever be built right beside something as architecturally pleasing as the town's municipal buildings. But here the contrast is just too stark for these old cynical bones. The wonderful old and the woefully inadequate new. And, like Port Glasgow, in Greenock it can be hard getting away from ships and the sea. While filming the Esplanade, an old man came over to chat. We were uh, in shipbuilding. All right. At, uh, what yard were you in? The uh, Hammonds. Was that Port Glasgow? Port Glasgow, Port Glasgow aye. And then uh, I went from there uh, to uh, what do you call it? Boyd Ridges of Shipping. <laughs> What trade are you? Well, this is the promenade between Greenock and Guruk, and you'll have had your bacon and onion butty in the Esplanade Cafe back there. If you were carrying on to Guruk as part of this trail, then you would just simply follow this. I think it probably pretty much hugs the coast all the way. But I, I'm not going into Guruk, and I'm going to end the walk on top of a small hill. They'll give us a good look at Guruk, and I'm going to show you the way to get there because the, it's a viewpoint and it is absolutely, it's a must, you've just got to, got to see the view from this spot. So I'm going to show you the way to go, brace yourself. So if you just go straight up uh, Fox Street for quite a good distance 
and turn right at there's going to be a name of the street at the bottom of the screen because I can't remember but turn right at this, this street here and then just keep going and the, the road will continue upwards and then round you'll pass a wee park on the right ignore that although there are tremendous views from there as well and um, not long after the wee park you'll see you'll see the viewpoint I mean there is actually one on the left and the right hand side of the road but this is the viewpoint on the right hand side of the road and it is Lyle Hill which is where we're going to end our walk Well this is Lyle Hill and we're looking down on the town of Guruk. I mean the view is just absolutely stunning. At times like this words are quite pointless. Anyway that was part of the the coastal walk between Port Glasgow and Greenock and coming up here to Lyle Hill to look down on Gourock. I'm Eddie Burns, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again. <laughs>